Sorry, everyone. From the webcam. Try that. We can't tell. Have someone join the. Wait, I bet it's this. This USB audio. Test, test, test. Yeah. Can someone type yes in the chat if you can hear me? Are you guys able to see our PowerPoint on Zoom? Can someone type in the chat? Yes, I can see the screen if you're able to see our uh, PowerPoint presentation. Okay, they can see the screen. Okay, awesome. Thank you guys so much on Zoom. started. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for bearing with us getting set up and everything. Welcome to BMSA's interest meeting. I'm so glad you all could come. Um, we're here to kind of provide everyone with a little bit more information on how to join our organization as well as what we offer for you guys. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to, you're going to meet all of our executive board today. Can you go ahead and give me the next slide? It's not working over here anymore. Okay, so um, I'll start by introducing myself. My name is Sarah Jones. I'm the president of BMSA, Bears Medical Student Association. I'm a senior university scholar from New Orleans. And my fun fact is that I am related to the cast of Swamp People. So I'm a real true Cajun person. All right. <laughs> Okay, so BMSA, uh, in years past, we've branded ourselves as the complete package. Um, what, we try to, what we're trying to bring to our members, especially this year, is that we have many options within our organization. We're not narrow in our range of focus, and we, have, we try to be excellent in many areas of medicine. So anything from uh, global health to research and internship to service, and you'll hear from those committee members soon. Um, we wanna make sure that we provide everyone in our organization with the opportunity to find what they're passionate about through trial and error. 
Okay, so this is our BMSA mission statement. I'm not going to read through the whole thing with you guys, but a big, a uh, bunch of big things that we want to bring to our organization this year is the creation of well-rounded, well-rounded students and exceptional con contributors to healthcare, uh, creating an open-minded and diverse view of healthcare through academic and professional development. And you can read all of the rest of what we're looking to offer to you guys. Okay, so. Um, Many of you want to go on to go to medical school. Some of you guys are in allied health and we are super grateful that you guys are here as well. Um, so here's a couple of things that you often will see in med school applications, what they're looking for. Uh, we as an organization strive to, you know, help you guys to achieve excellence in all of these categories, but there is a lot more than what's on this list. Okay, so how is BMSA different from other organizations. And that's what I've just been talking to you guys about. Um, we help you with every aspect of becoming a great medical school applicant. And beyond that, we want you all to become great contributors to the field of healthcare. So we don't want your development to end with your application. We want to give you lifelong skills so that you can go on and be very successful in a medical career. And this is again, just some of the things that we offer. Okay, so what makes BMSA special? So um, if you haven't seen already, and you'll see shortly, um, our calendar of events. We have events almost every single day, most hours of the day. So we try to work with our, uh, with our members to really give you guys a flexible um, kind of opportunity so that you can kind of pick and choose what you're really interested in. Um, and, you know, you don't have to get everything, but there are a ton of great opportunities available to you. Um, we have leadership opportunities. Um, you'll hear a little bit more about committees. That's our main form of leadership. There's only 15 of us here, but there's over 100 people in our committees, most of which are made up of underclassmen. So if you're an underclassman in this meeting, please don't be intimidated. Uh, we want to give our underclassmen a lot of leadership opportunities. So be listening throughout the rest of the presentation for any sort of committee opportunities that our chairs are providing. And then we also have three different mission trips, which you'll hear about from our global health chairs. Okay, so leadership opportunities, we have all of our chairs, the 15 um, officers, and then every position that has an asterisk has a committee. So again, that's whenever we get into that first level of leadership. So beyond being a member, you can be a committee member. And if you're interested in any of these fields, I recommend reaching out to that respective chair and letting them know that you're interested. We're all really receptive. Um, to excited people. We want you to get excited about something and then we wanna put you in charge of it. So please don't hesitate to reach out. We really, really wanna hear from you guys. Okay, um, committee applications. So our first general meeting is gonna be on September 7th. Um, that's when our committee applications are gonna open on our website. And then that Friday at midnight, September 10th is whenever they're gonna close. Again, new members and freshmen are encouraged to apply. I joined a committee my first semester, my freshman year, and a lot of people in the pink shirts up here did as well. So again, please don't be intimidated if you are a freshman or if this is your first semester. We wanna hear from you guys. We wanna learn what you have to say. Um, you guys are exceptional contributors whenever you walk through the door. And yeah, okay, that's where you can find our applications. Hello guys, my name is Danny. Um, I'm, a, I'm the vice president of BMSA. Uh, I have a chemistry major and a business administration minor. I'm a senior from San Diego, California. So if you're from Southern California, come talk to me after the meeting. And uh, fun fact is I have very rare blood type. I'm O negative, which is like 6.6%. There are rare, like AB, whatever. Um, but I'm also CMV negative, which means I can donate to babies because I lack a certain virus. So I'm in this group called uh, Heroes for Babies, which is pretty cool. Um, next one, let's get so as vice president, I lead the mentorship committee, which is full of uh, upperclassmen, full of uh, great uh, experience and advice. Um, we do have mentoring socials with free food. So if that excites you, um, definitely come to those. They will be um, on alternating weeks of the general meetings. So you already have that time scheduled out. If you want to come to general meetings, they'll be in the BSB atrium with free food. Like I said, you get chances to speak to upperclassmen who have already taken the MCAT, some of them, or are currently studying for the MCAT. Um, and so if you're pre-med, I assume all of you will be taking that in a couple of years, which is uh, pretty cool to get advice from them. And I think there's one more thing on the slide. Yeah, so we're here to help each other out. Don't be afraid to talk to us, like Sarah said. Um, I know it's kind of scary. I, I, I hated talking to upperclassmen as a freshman, sophomore, but 
I think they are full of great advice. Um, so yeah, like Sarah was meant mentioned, uh, general meetings are on Tuesdays at 7.30, bi-weekly, first one on September 7th. Um, we have guest speakers at every uh, general meeting, except the first one, um, but they are physicians from all over Texas, and like, I think we have a neurosurgeon coming this year. It's pretty cool. Um, so they'll talk about their journey through the field of healthcare, uh, as well as maybe a case study or two. So if you're interested in like neurosurgery, I think it'd be pretty cool to come check that out. Next slide. And scholarships and MCAT courses. So we partner with uh, Kaplan and the Princeton Review. Um, we will have two, uh, M we have one MCAT like study session, not a study session, a, a, a MCAT strategy session, I'm sorry, um, as well as a personal statement workshop to help you guys get ready for uh, professional school. And uh, we also, Kaplan and Princeton have given us um, discounts on MCAT study courses. Um, not sure on the exact amounts, but I will update you guys as soon as I can. We also offer lots of scholarships. I believe Prachi, our treasurer, will be talking about that later. So if free money excites you guys, then definitely stick around. And I'll pass it on to Brennan. Alrighty, thank you, Danny. Hey, how's everyone going today? Pretty good. Okay, nice. So I'm going to be selfish for a sec and talk about myself. My name is Brendan McLeod, and I'm currently the professional development chair for BMSA. I am currently a junior. I am a biochemistry major. And my fun fact, which I think is pretty cool, because he was just recently inducted into the Hall of Fame, is I met Peyton Manning. Kind of gave him a fist bump. It was really cool. So yeah. Okay, so if we go on to the next slide, let's kind of discuss what the professional development committee is going to do. So when I kind of inherited the professional development committee, I wanted to take a little bit of a different route than what had previously been set up by previous chairs. They did a great job and I'm really grateful for all the things they have taught me and the things they have done, but I really wanted to focus on more the individual aspect of leadership and professional development, okay? So if you go to a professional development workshop, you can expect to see things like our success case studies, which is going to be kind of examining how the people that are super successful, like what makes them the way they are, right? Because at the end of the day, we're all flesh, we're all bones. So what sets those people apart? It's kind of stuff like that that I'm really interested in, right? Like why are people the way that they are? I wanna be able to like learn from that and apply that to make us more empathetic and better leaders within our corresponding fields. So we could go on to the next slide, another thing. Are there, is everyone here more or less basically a freshman, just kind of like a quick show of hands? Okay, yeah, it's perfect. So if you're not a freshman, you might have heard of our luncheons that we have in which we invite either a physician or a professor that works here at Baylor. We cater Chick-fil-A and you guys get to ask them questions that y'all may have regarding their research, their work, anything of that sort. So it's a really great opportunity because you guys get to hear from people that do the things that y'all might potentially want to do in the future and they get to you know, interact with you guys and they get Chick-fil-A, which I don't think that's really a lose-lose situation for anybody. Going on, okay, perfect. So I am actually looking for about four to five committee members to take on to the Professional Development Committee. I will preface it by saying that if you do join the committee, it's gonna be a lot of talking, okay? A lot of standing in front of people and just kind of giving your best effort to be a good presenter, right? But I don't want that to discourage anybody, okay? Because if you think about it, if this like little square that I'm standing in is my comfort zone, right? And if I never dare to step one way or the other outside of it, I'm always gonna be kind of trapped in that area, right? So this is a perfect opportunity to really step out. You're all freshmen, not all of you, most of you are freshmen. A lot of you, you know, come from different areas. So you might as well try things out, see what fits, who knows, you might really end up enjoying it. That's kind of what happened to me. I joined the PDC my freshman year, and obviously I'm now the chair my junior year. So yeah, four to five people, you don't have to be a freshman, but if you're interested, there will be a application on the BMSA website. You'll find it under the professional development committee, obviously, and then you can just submit the application to me at my email and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, perfect, thank you. All right, hello everyone. My name is Grace Sievers. I have a major in biology and I actually have a minor in entrepreneurship as well. 
and I'm a senior this year. So, you know, my last year technically didn't, we were talking about this at a meeting the other day, everyone on campus right now is basically a freshman and a sophomore. So don't let anything like, you know, school in general, joining clubs, joining organizations, make you nervous, feel overwhelmed or anything like that. We're all in the same boat here coming back to campus. So I'm originally from Nebraska, middle of nowhere, lots of corn behind the barn. And so some, a fun fact about myself is that my cousin had cystic fibrosis and thanks to a new treatment, she got into a clinical trial. She was actually just able to graduate nursing school and become a nurse out in Nebraska. Super exciting, go science. <laughs> All right, so I'm the membership chair. I'm in charge of everything points related, all of your membership statuses. And if you have any questions, concerns about actually being a member in the organization, I'm the person to contact. So for this organization, you have to have 70 points in order to be an active member, but then we have other tiers for those overachievers and you guys are you know, pre-med, pre-health, so we know everyone's an overachiever. Uh, so the silver membership, 110, gold membership, go for that gold medal, 155, and then platinum is 200 points. So right now that kind of like seems like it's going over all of your heads, like, okay, points, cool, whatever, I'm gonna have to make a commitment. But every time that you go to a workshop or to a meeting like one of these things or a service event or anything that we have to offer, you're going to get points. And throughout the semester, you're going to be able to bank those points and, you know, become an active member. And it's really, really not difficult. And honestly, if you're coming with your friends and you're having a good time and you're really getting something out of these events, 70 points is going to be nothing. You're going to be in that platinum membership in no time. All right. Okay. So what my committee does, I said a little bit, the membership committee. So we manage the BMSA master roster. So I have a Excel spreadsheet on my computer with everyone's name and email. So, you know, I know everyone <laughs> and manage master points spreadsheet. So I also know everyone's point totals. And if you have any questions, like you went to an event and you didn't get credit for it, email me. I have the documentation for all of that and I'll fix it for you. And then upload the weekly points. So points are, um, updated every week. So after you go to the events for that week, everyone's committee members will send the points to me and then I will send it out at a weekly email so that all of you guys will be updated on a regular basis on your you know, track record of how many points you have and how many more that you need to get before the end of the semester. And the post meeting recap. So after we do one of these every Tuesday, I'll send out a meeting or an email of just kind of the notes and the updates and everything that you guys need to know. So I'm looking for three new committee members. Um, you don't have to be like any sort of genius with an Excel spreadsheet. You can be a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, doesn't matter. As long as you're willing to, you know, put your time in and really like, you know, be detail oriented about making sure everyone gets their points. I'd love to have you guys and happy that anyone's willing to help out. So thank you and that's all. Hey guys, um, something that I forgot at the beginning of the meeting, I was trying to figure out all the technical stuff. Um, base coverings are required as a part of using this classroom, as well as as a part of being in our organization. So we're going to model good pre-health student practices, and we're all going to wear our face coverings. Thank you. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Natalie. I'm a junior medical humanities major, and I am this year's research and internship chair. So, and I am from San Antonio, Texas. Is anyone from San Antonio here? Yeah, awesome. So my fun fact is that I actually just found this out pretty recently, but my great grandmother used to babysit the HEB family children. And um, at one point when my grandmother, who was my great grandma's daughter, obviously, um, when she became sick, the HEB family was kind enough to pay for her medical bills. So that was very sweet. And no, unfortunately, I do not get discounts at HEB, sadly. But um, yeah, so. Okay, so as I said, I am a chair of the research and internship committee. So what our committee does is one thing. Is anyone, first of all, interested in finding research on campus soon? Yeah, so some of the opportunities we provide are perfect for that. So for one thing, we have lab tours with professors. So you can, um, we, our committee sets up lab tours with professors and students can sign up for it. 
and they can actually either go meet the professor and see the lab and all the research they do, or they can meet one of the graduate students that usually helps with them. So that's one of the opportunities we have. And then we have a bunch of academic workshops too. So I like to say that we teach that just so y'all have an idea of maybe what you're getting into in the medical field. Maybe you can find a little bit about what you're passionate about. You can even maybe learn some things when you go to shadow or when you go into an internship. And then we have surgical skills, and that is really cool. So as you can see right here, we have an intubation dummy, but this is just one of the many equipment that we have. Trust me, I have a whole truckload of it. And we also offer things like intubation skills, um, IV insertions, that one's gonna be new. So we're gonna have a fake IV arm that you can practice starting an IV. And then we have suturing workshops. We're gonna invite Dr. Nielsen. I don't know if anyone knows him, but he's a, a doctor and he's gonna be hosting those. And then we also have a laparoscopy. So um, maybe if you were looking to get into like a laparoscopy class at like maybe Earl Hall or something like that, we have that. So that's another cool thing. We also have EKG workshops where you can um, practice putting some like sticky notes on a dummy. You can also practice ventilation, things like that. And we're also gonna offer a lot of certification as well. So um, what that is basically you can get CPR certification, you can get first aid certification, a lot of cool things that you know, you can find out if you're passionate about it, something like that. And then we also have mock medical school interviews. So once you become an upperclassman and you're ready to start applying to graduate school or professional school, we have mock interviews and our committee sets that up with professors. So that way you kind of get that real kind of practice that you're going to need. And that way, when you go into your interviews for the first time, you're not kind of shocked, but yeah. So, and then we have a research and internship newsletter as well. And then we also have databases. And then we also are gonna offer professor and student research panels. So you can attend those. If you have any questions to students who are currently in research or even professors who are doing research. Yeah, so on our website, we're, we have research and internship databases. So if you're looking to go into research or find some sort of internship, you can go onto our website and as you can see, it's gonna have like a whole spreadsheet of things like that. So it's, we're currently still updating it, but you're welcome to go check it out. And yeah. Okay, and now for my committee, I am looking for five to six individuals and applications are gonna be available on the website as well. And you can email those to me um, and you can be a freshman. I was a freshman when I joined the committee and it's been the best decision that I've ever made. So please apply, we look forward to seen you. Hey, hey, everyone. My name is Tristan Ibarra. I am a senior in neuroscience and anthropology. I graduate in December. So excited. Um, I'm from Austin, Texas. So how many of y'all from Austin, Texas? Woo! All right. Um, fun fact, I have an amazing dog. Her name is Nala. She's an Australian Shepherd cattle dog mix. She's here in Waco. Um, yeah, she's my best friend. Yes, a lot of our officers have met them. Her. All right, so I'm the medical discussion chair. And so basically what that is, is kind of like all the hard conversations that are hard to have in class, we bring them out. And the reason why is so that y'all can become really, or we can all become really well-rounded individuals in every um, conversation. Not so much you have to be knowledgeable in every conversation, but be willing to one, take on sides and understand, right? And then also, um, these are just some of the workshops we have this semester. So we have medical ethic forums. So this is an example is patient autonomy and we just bring out different cases, right? So um, a lot of the times it's like things that can strip a physician from their license. I think it's extremely important that we, we know what limitations you have as a physician or a healthcare provider or ally health professional. Um, medicinal policy focuses on medicine and law and how those two things correlate and how a lot of the times sometimes physicians have to testify in court or sometimes you know so a lot of the times they have to fill out just different tedious different laws that are in healthcare laws that we should know about right um, medical debates and a thing like this is like we pull a famous case out or even just a case that's been out in this past year and examples like patient autonomy, if a patient is diagnosed with bipolar, schizophrenia, onset psychosis, and they have a life-changing operation, 
and they can make that decision, do they have the right to make that decision, yes or no, right? So it's just things to think about, right? You don't really think about these things inside of a classroom unless you take bioethics, but yeah. Uh, reality of mental health, as mental health is now becoming the new frontier for medicine, um, it is very important to talk about these things, how to recognize different psychopathologies, right? But then even peers, I'm also a mental health peer leader, so just incorporating everything that, um, you know, mental health wise. Um, medical student, OT, PT, NP panel. So this is really geared to the allied health, so it's going to be um, alumni from Baylor that is, or from other colleges that are now in medical school, OT school, PT school, nurse practitioner school. Um, this is just to cater to all the allied health programs within BMSA. And then also we are, oh, what we're really, really known for, bi-weekly newsletter. So if you want to know what's all going down in BMSA through the weeks, every single Tuesday, whenever we have our general meetings, we'll have a nice little paper or we're still discussing paper or QR code for you to look at and you can see all the research articles um, from every single officer or varying officers and what's going on and also all the workshops that are available that week and then DO versus MD this is specific towards pre-med students what's the differences between the two what are the schools like what what is the difference and then why choose medicine this is just to gear yourselves to why are you really choosing medicine and make sure that that y'all are aware that there are other opportunities in healthcare other than being a physician and that we all know those different opportunities. All right, so medical discussions, I kind of explained it all this already. And then apply to committee. So this year or this semester, I'm looking for six to seven new committee members and this is, you will be speaking a lot. This is ethics. You're going to talk a lot. You're going to have to think a lot. But I'll tell you one thing. It does, one, make you very knowledgeable in conversations. And then two, it's all a whole lot of fun. Your committee is going to have a whole bunch of fun. A lot of them are medical debate style. So like if you like debate team law, this is definitely for you. Um, so you just go ahead and complete the committee application and then send it to my email below. Thank you. Hey guys, what's up? All right. <laughs> All right, so my name is George. Um, I'm a senior here, entrepreneurship major. Yes, you can be another major other than science if you're pre-health, just hint, hint. Anyway, um, but I am a minor in biology and biochem. Um, my hometown is Houston, Texas uh, from the Cypress area. Anyone? Yeah, let's go. Okay, um, and a fun fact about me is I used to be a barista and I did latte art. It was really cool. Yeah, but I don't like coffee, so. <laughs> All right, so a little bit um, about me. I am the social chair um, and I run a bunch of social events because um, our goal is to kind of um, build um, communication skills and interpersonal skills because that is very essential um, in the medical healthcare field. You're gonna end up working with a lot of different people, working with the patient, you know, and it's gonna get very complicated. Um, so my job is to kind of build those um, skills so that you can take them on with you as a physician, healthcare provider, whatever it is it may be. Um, some of the events that uh, we kind of run are pre and post meeting social, small groups, social workshops, medical TV show nights, holiday parties, and a lot more. Um, and I'm still working and designing new events um, because, um, yeah, it's just pretty fun and exciting to do, which moves me on to the next slide. Um, so I am personally looking for three to six uh, members to join the committee. Uh, Y'all would help me kind of um, design new events um, for the future, um, you know, get things going, um, lots of exciting things to do. Um, but uh, yeah, basically the application is going to be on the website and you can email it to me. Uh, guys, look to your right and to your left, above you, below you. These are your friends, okay? Everyone here is your friend and we're working together to go into the healthcare field. <laughs> so um, yeah, um, my job here is to make y'all friends, work together, be successful together. Um, y'all are not enemies, but yeah. Thank you very much. All right, it's me. Uh, my name is Harry. I was 
Okay, I'm from, okay, I'm a biochem major, junior, and I'm from Emerald, Texas. I believe there's no one in this room is from Emerald, Texas. Yup, I knew it. All right, anyways. No way. All right, hey, what's up, man? All right, sorry. Okay, <laughs> because last year I'm like the only one from Amarillo. Okay, sorry. My fun fact is that I hate eggs. Don't ask questions. I don't like eggs, which I also hate American breakfast. Please don't hate me. I think Asian breakfast is better. All right, thank you. Next slide. Okay, so I am the recruitment chair. Um, I don't know if you guys remember me. I might talk to most of you guys at uh, late night. So this is what recruitment does. We make chalking around the school. So if you walk like on the floor right now, recently I've been seeing a lot of like soccer cl girl club tryouts. Obviously, uh, I don't know if anyone's trying out for soccer girl, but you should try out for BMSA. Uh, okay, anyways. So this is what we do. We, uh, we kind of advertise for events for them. And then we also um, advertise for our general meetings and then any upcoming news. This is what uh, my committee specialize. And we also make flyers and then flyers. I'm not actually sure about that yet. So we'll hold on that. But mainly right now, what we do is chalking. And then if you want to be creative and you think, hey, actually, I would love to advertise and just meet people. Uh, I actually work mostly with you guys because um, I want to make you guys to join our uh, organization and then, you know, be our friend, join the family. Uh, one more slide. Oh, yes. So I'm looking for four to five uh, members. Uh, obviously, you can be a freshman, you can be a sophomore, you can be a junior, you can be a senior. I would love to have you guys. Uh, you can look up recruitment and then send me the application. Thank you very much. Hey everyone, my name is Megan Giles. I am a neuroscience major with biochemistry and biology minors. Um, I'm a senior. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Any Midwesterners in here? Wonderful, we'd love to see it. Um, my fun fact is that I was a dancer for 15 years. Okay, so what does the media committee do? Well, we, we click buttons here. I'm a professional button clicker. Um, we also manage the website, which is bmsabu.com. Pretty easy. Um, we run all the social media pages. If you like Instagram, if you like graphics, if you like photography, any of that kind of stuff, we would love to have you on the committee. Um, we also take pictures at events. So we're super excited to be back in person because we can actually photograph events instead of Zoom screens. So I'm super excited about that. Um, we do bi-weekly rounds, which is when all the officers have like announcements. So we make this like little five minute video of all of us talking and we have like news anchors and it's super fun. Um, so if you like that kind of videography, uh, like writing scripts kind of, we can get creative. So if you like that, let me know. We also produce general meetings. That is from when we were completely online. But for those of you who are online right now through Zoom, that, that's what we're doing. OK. OK, so we're looking for four to five new members. This is our Instagram page, super cute. Um, you don't need experience in all of these different things. But obviously it's recommended and um, we, we can teach you anything you need to know. So if you're super interested in video editing or making graphics or whatever it is, we would love to teach you. Um, don't be afraid to apply if you're a freshman. That's kind of the general consensus. Uh, we, we would love to get to know you. My committee is great. We love new friends. Um, email me with any questions. That's my email. And then obviously once applications open, feel free to apply to my committee. Thank you. Oh, wait. That's the info. It's all the same pretty much, so. Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Victoria and I'm the Poise Chair. Um, I am a biochemistry and anthropology double major. Um, I'm 
from Houston, Texas, and I'm a junior. Uh, my fun fact is that I have three dogs. Um, they're all kind of ugly, but uh, a pit bull, a chihuahua, and a, a chow chow named Mama. You can see them up there. Uh, they're ugly, but they're cute, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> uh, so what COIS is, COIS stands for Community Outreach Initiative and Service. And so we're basically getting you guys connected within the Waco community. I know being at Baylor, being in the Baylor bubble kind of like hinders what exactly Baylor or the Waco community is. So my job and our committee's job is to get you involved within the community, um, get you involved with clinical experience. Um, how many of you guys are looking for shadowing volunteering experiences in the clinic? Yeah, everyone? Okay, good. So join my committee, join COIS. Um, so we volunteer at Waco Family Medicine um, and we just added in Baylor Scott and White. That'll be online, but those are two big um, medical clinical experiences that you guys can get. We also volunteer with the World, World, World Hunger Relief Farm and uh, the Mayborn Museum. Um, and those are just two really great um, events that you guys can interact with and interact with like the Waco community. Um, yeah. And then we also host workshops and toy drives with the rest of um, the Waco community as well, with churches and Mission Waco as well. Um, and if you're looking to get involved, we're, I'm looking for one committee member, but I'm looking for four to five volunteers. Um, so being a volunteer, it would just mean you would have four hours or four hour requirement, two hours at clinic, and then two hours at either Mission Waco, the Mayborn Museum, or World Hunger Relief Farm. That's up to your, your choice. Um, and then as a committee member, you would be in charge of just like running um, who goes where and helping me out with anything that we need. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested, please take a photo of my email, email me, um, and look for my committee application when it opens up next week. Yay, I see phones out. This is so exciting. <laughs> um, but yeah, and that's how happy you'll be if you join COIS, a cute dog, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so thank you everyone. I hope to see you or in the applications. All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Joy. I'm a cell molecular bio major with a poverty studies minor. I am a junior and I'm from Irvine, California. So go SoCal. Woo. Yes, hands. Okay. And uh, my fun fact is that my senior year of high school, I drank boba twice a week. If you want to do the calculations, you can. But yes, it did damage to my wallet. <laughs> Okay, so if you enjoy service, you came to the right place. We have a ton of opportunities for you. Any organization that you're looking to work with, BMSA has like service opportunities every week. We have over 15 events per week and it's like almost every day and throughout the day. So no excuses to not serve the community in Waco and also in Baylor. So yeah, those are all of the things that we're involved with. And there's a lot more. I didn't, I couldn't include all of them. Finally, um, yeah, last semester we recorded over 5,000 community service hours. So yes, that is a lot. And um, yes, there's work weekly services, medically related services. I'm sure all of you guys want to do like shadow work like um, Victoria mentioned earlier. So yes, and then committee, for my committee, I'm looking for two to three committee members. So if you're interested, my email is up there. Send me your applications and that is all. Hi everyone, my name is Pardee Shasavari. Um, I'm a health science studies major, minoring in leadership and biology. I'm a senior from Allen, Texas. Usually I just say Dallas because no one really knows where that is. Um, but my fun fact is that Mason Ramsey got me sick. Um, so freshman year, Mason Ramsey came to Baylor. And so of course I had to go see him up close. So I was like touching his hand and stuff like that. So the next day I had a fever, so I blame him. So a part of the fundraising committee, what we do is that we're responsible for raising funds for the Baylor mission trips and also for local philanthropies. Um, every spring we actually host an annual banquet, which is a lot of fun and hopefully that can happen this year. Um, and then in addition to that, we host on-campus fundraisers and off-campus events. Um, and also we design merchandise. Um, and so some of the merchandise that we have, you can find at the BMSA store, which includes mugs, 
crew necks, fleeces, and masks. And so you can see this is some of the stuff that we have in the store. The crew necks are coming soon. Um, we'll be sending out an interest form in the next meeting. And above, we can see some events we've had in the past, like a pumpkin painting fundraiser. And so I'm looking for two to three committee members that are interested in event planning and creating merchandise. Um, so if you're creative, you should definitely apply. And I applied as a freshman and it worked out for me. So you guys should definitely apply. Hi everyone, my name is Sydney Young. I'm a biochemistry major with a minor in medical humanities and I'm a junior this year. I'm from Frisco, Texas. I also just say Dallas because a lot of people from not from Texas don't know where that is. Um, and my fun fact is that growing up when I was like around five years old, my piano teacher for a couple years was Vanilla Ice's mom who sings Ice Ice Baby, which is so random, but I thought that was like, why does she live in Frisco? <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Justin Nguyen. I'm a junior biology major, minor in corporate communication. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Anyone from Louisiana in here? Out of curiosity. Ah, it's really cool. Um, hope your family and homes are safe from that hurricane though. Um, but yeah, uh, my fun fact is that this is actually my first semester back uh, since freshman year. So I've actually been away from Baylor more than I've been at Baylor, but I'm definitely very excited to see all of you guys again. So just a little about the Global Health Committee. I think it's really awesome that Global Health is just so massive and so broad. Um, so some people traditionally think of Global Health as, you know, neglected tropical diseases like malaria and COVID and things like that. But the truth is, is that it's so much wider than that. There's a lot of health equity involved. There's a lot of um, medical systems and a lot of just crazy things. So for example, we offer a lot of workshops over here, such as, for example, the World Health Organization that deals with um, viruses, whatever uh, medical catastrophe is going on at the time, we present on that. We also do things like mission trips as well, um, and we do things like medical Spanish, which is definitely very useful for our mission trips to Central, uh, Central America. Um, and we also do things like medical terminology, teaching you about um, medical terms that are really useful in your uh, field, of course. And once again, it's just a really broad uh, field, and if you love global health, please join our committee. Okay, so one of the biggest parts of BMSA and our committee in particular is our mission trips which we take three times a year, our domestic ones, which occur twice. This year, it'll be during winter break and spring break. We go to the Rio Grande Valley, and I actually just went at the beginning of this summer for the first time after COVID, which was so exciting. And you can see pictures of us on the screen. And while there, we did volunteer in a clinic. And through that, we got shadowing hours and at the same time, volunteer hours. And we were also able to volunteer at a respite center for immigrants who had just crossed the border. So it was a really enriching experience for everyone that went. And then our international mission trip this year is planning to go to Guatemala. And about June is when we have it planned for. And so we actually haven't been on this for about like two years because of COVID, but we're super excited to be planning it. And it's really cool because we partner with an organization um, that was, is connected to a Baylor student that had sadly passed away. And this is an organization he was really passionate about. And so we go volunteer at clinics there and work with doctors. Can you go this one? Okay, so we're looking for about six to seven new committee members who are passionate about global health and all the things Justin discussed. Again, we're a very workshop-centered committee, so you will be standing in front of people and talking, but I joined freshman year, I know Justin did too. And I was so nervous, but it was really, a really good opportunity for like building leadership skills and you can be up and talking in front of a bunch of people and freshmen are welcome to apply. We take a lot of freshmen and yeah, just, we wanna spread awareness and really get people passionate about global health. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Prachi Patel and I am majoring in biology. I am minoring in business administration, and I'm a junior from Plano, Texas, also near Dallas. Fun fact is that I did three out of four years of high school in different states. And I'm the treasurer for BMSA, so all the dues and everything comes to me. So steps to joining BMSA is you pay your dues. Uh, right now, we're not accepting cash, but we have PayPal, and the link is there. We to, to join, you have to accept the connect invitation and that's how we'll have you on the roster and you can sign up for events, which will be on the website and you'll also get a weekly email about it. 
and you get you have to have 70 points to be an active member 15 service and 15 academic also uh the powerpoint is going to be sent out later so don't worry about everyone's emails or anything because it would be on the powerpoint okay so the link for paypal is there so the dues uh, for one year it's 25 dollars two years 45 three 65 and then you can have a lifetime membership for 85 and for freshmen i would recommend that because it's cheaper and affordable and dues are due september the 21st which is our second general meeting moving on uh, to verify your dues after you pay uh, at the PayPal, you take a screenshot, fill out the Google form, and that's how we'll know that you have the proof that you've paid your dues. And for some reason, if COVID has really impacted you, you're going through a financial, financial situation, you can fill the form out, and that's the dues exclusion form, and we can talk more about it. So like Danny said, scholarships, BMSA offers multiple scholarships, and we offer need-based, and we also offer a scholarship for MCAT, and we've offered like more than $10,000 worth of scholarships in the past. We're also going to talk about scholarships in our first general meeting, so be on the lookout for that. Okay. All right, guys, Danny's going to give us a word real quick, and then I'm going to close this out. So like Prachi said, we have tons of scholarships. Um, in the past, we've only had like two people apply. So please apply. We are willing to give out free money. So please apply. Second thing is, like she mentioned, you will get a connect invitation to accept after you pay dues. Do not request to join the organization. It is unproductive and it spams our email boxes. So please do not request to join on connect. You will get an invitation to join the organization after you pay your dues. Thank you. Yes, just like they said, um, just be patient. We're going to get all of you guys. Nobody's going to get left behind, so don't worry about it. Um, can I give it up for the executive board again? Awesome. <laughs> They're awesome people, and there are a lot more awesome people like them in our organization. Our, our goal here is to get you really excited about being part of the pre-health community um, to make it a little bit less scary and a lot more exciting. So I hope that you're all excited about our organization. I wanted to make it clear that to be a part of our organization, you do not need to be a committee member. You can be an active member outside of being in a committee, but all of those opportunities are available to you. So I just wanted to clear that up. Um, if you have any more questions, our executive board is gonna stay up here for the next like 10 or so minutes. So if you wanna talk to someone about what they do in their committee, uh, feel free. If not, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday evening. It was lovely meeting all of you.